Hi friends, welcome to Read Around the World with Stacy. Today we're going to read Grumpy Monkey, Don't Be Scared. Written by Susan Lang and illustrated by Max Lang. Well friends, I've made a craft to go along with this book. If you click on the description box below, all the information is there. Well friends, before we start, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Twas Halloween in the jungle, the spookiest night of the year. But it was also a night for treats, so Jim Penzi and his friends braved the dark in the hope they might get some good ones. As they walked, Jim noticed how different everything looked at night. The trees looked eerie, and he kept hearing a strange knocking sound. Knock, 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 knock. What's that noise? asked Jim. There are lots of night noise in the jungle, said Porcupine. Don't be scared. I'm not scared, said Jim. The only thing I'm scared of, said Leslie the giraffe, is not getting any treats. Suddenly, a creepy crackling could be heard. Ah! Just another night noise, gulped Jim. Someone should look behind the tree, said Norman. Not it, shouted Leslie. Not it, echoed Jim, Norman, and Warthog. I'll do it, said Porcupine. She walked closer to the tree and closer. Be careful, called Warthog. It's just hyena. Porcupine said, don't be scared. I'm not scared, said Jim. <laughs> Happy Halloween, called Hyena, tossing treats to Jim and his friends. Suddenly, something slimy wrapped itself around Jim's leg. Something's got Jim, Warthog screamed. Ah! It's just Oddvark, said Porcupine. Don't be scared. I'm not scared, said Jim. I am, said Warthog. Pleased to meet you, and a very good Halloween to you all, Oddvark said, giving them some treats. The friends continued their walk. The wind whistled. Jim shivered. It's getting late, he said. Maybe we should go home. I could do with a few more treats, said Norman. Me too, said Porcupine. I haven't gotten anything I like. Tell me about it, said Warthog. More like smell me about it, said Leslie. Who farted? Ugh. She who smelt it dealt it declared Warthog. The smell was getting stronger. It smelled like rotten eggs mixed with old cabbage soup and armpits. It made Jim's eyes water. That's no fart, said Norman. What, what is it? asked Jim. It's just polecat, said Porcupine. Pole what? asked Warhog. Polecat, said Porcupine. He's a night animal. Don't be scared, said Leslie. I'm not scared, said Jim. Actually, said Porcupine, you should be a little scared. Don't come in my house, shouted Polecat, spraying the stinkiest liquid Jim had ever smelt. Run! screamed Warthog. That was close, said Norman. You bet your butt it was, said Leslie. Jim looked around. It was so dark that he had no idea where they were. And then he heard the knocking sound again. Knock, 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 knock. But in the deep dark, Jim couldn't tell where the sound was coming from. Knock, 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 knock. 
Don't be scared, said Porcupine. It's just night noises. I'm, I'm not scared, squealed Jim. Suddenly, two glowing eyes flashed overhead. Ay, 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 screamed the eyes, which seemed to be darting all around. Jim couldn't take it anymore. The cold, the dark, the smells, the noises. It was too much. I'm scared, he screamed. I'm really, really scared. Jim felt something tap his shoulder. Don't be scared, a little voice said. I'm AA. The knocking, the screaming were me. I was just knocking on trees, looking for bugs to eat. You and your friends startled me, so I screamed. I guess we both got scared, said Jim. It's okay, said Norman. Everyone feels scared sometimes. Here, have some Halloween treats, said A.A. Finally, some good treats, said Warthog. Jim and his friends shared the yummy treats. They took turns scaring one another. Boo! shouted Leslie from behind the tree. Boo! shouted Porcupine popping out from under a pile of leaves. It was a spooky good time. Cold, dark, noisy. And smelly. P.U. Mmm, treats, said Polecat. Well, friends, until next time, bye.